The mystery of Stonehenge just got deeper. New research reveals that 5,000 years ago, the altar stone largely buried at the centre of the ring was brought from northern Scotland and not from Wales as previously thought. Somehow, Neolithic people with only primitive tools moved a six-tonne rock the length of Britain. The scientists were stunned. This sort of transportation distance is, is amazing. Uh, it looks like a, a sandstone rock that's micaceous, so it's a little bit glittery. Uh, you would think, oh, wow, there's rocks like this in pretty close to here. I would have expected it to come from there, but no, absolutely gobsmacked. It's, it's definitely Scottish. So. And, and well worth bringing that distance, quite clearly. For these people, that rock had a lot of significance. The new finding means Stonehenge was built with rocks brought from across the island of Britain. The largest, the 25-tonne sarsen stones, were brought from the Marlborough Downs in Wiltshire, just 20 miles away. The smaller blue stones were transported from the Preseli Hills in West Wales, a distance of 140 miles. And now research shows the altar stone came the furthest, 500 miles from the Orcadian Basin that lies north of Inverness. How exactly the stone was transported so far is unclear. If it came over land, people would have had to bring it through dense forests and over mountains. Alternatively, it could have been brought by sea on a giant raft. But this is a huge stone. The geologists use techniques from the mining industry to study crystals within the altar stone. It provided a unique signature that matched rocks in Scotland. It certainly implies a huge level of communication, exchange, people travelling. Um, it, it's quite hard for us with our modern mindset, I think, to imagine. The finding gives archaeologists more to ponder. Stonehenge was probably a temple, but why a rock from Scotland had such significance is a puzzle. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Wiltshire.